you've been through such a lot. I mean, you've been through so many, oper countless operations. I bet you can't probably even remember how many there, there have been. No. Um, it's, it's absolutely remarkable what you've gone through. But now you're using that. You've used what happened to you in such a positive way. Yeah, it's actually a really exciting time for me because, like you said, it's a way to sort of turn it around and reframe it. Um, to go on tour in theatres feels quite intimate yes. compared to, you know, some of the books and the shows I've done have been my only way of communicating with people in the past. Sure. But this is going to be a chance to talk about mental health, anxiety, depression in quite an honest, upfront way mm. and interact with the audience as well. So actually it's not about me and what happened to me, it's about the audience and, sure. and sharing stories and coping mechanisms. Sure. So people will come away feeling hopefully better about themselves or at least have the tools to equip themselves to deal with whatever their problem is. Yeah, and I think also to be honest and normalise some things that actually, you know, we're hearing a lot more from the royal family and other celebrities about anxiety and sure. other mental health problems and, and actually there is no one answer of how to overcome these things. So I hope within a show I can put that in context and be honest about it being an ongoing journey as no, well. Because sure, there's no one size fits all. I mean, there, there really isn't. Absolutely. There isn't. I mean, Russell, who we're going to talk to um, very soon, I mean, Russell Brand talks about that very much so in right. In his book, he's very open about it. Yeah. And that's the thing about now, because people are. Before it was like, oh, you know, you just have to stiff up her lip and all that, and you're not supposed to talk about feeling low or down. And yeah. we all have those days. Yeah, of course, for some people, it's, it's absolutely hellish, and they, they, you know, they have to get proper help. But yeah. all, we've all, we all get those days, don't we? I think so, and I hope that my journey can illustrate that it's not a permanent place that you'll be in all your life. Mm. Actually, some of these things are temporary, and there are coping mechanisms and various mental and physical exercises you can do sure. to kind of move forward. So. Exactly. You look yeah. fantastic. Oh, thank you. Baby's due when? Uh, the baby's due the day after Boxing Day, so I'm on that home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd yeah. be, what a Christmas so. present. What an amazing Christmas I present. I know, it's oh, going to be a fantastic. stressful Christmas. And look, I always remember talking to you about this, about the fact that your story really is inspirational and what happened to you is hellish and how you've managed to overcome it. And there have been talk in the past of, of a film. Yes, yeah. yeah. And I was thinking Reese Witherspoon. Oh, Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Don't you think? Well, maybe. I, I can see that. I yeah. Because <laughs> it is something that's kind of ongoing. I mean, these things take ages, don't they, to yeah. sort of come to fruition? They take a long time. Yeah. I mean, they talked about it a lot. And I guess it probably happens in, in America and Hollywood a lot that scripts get written up. So I didn't want to assume that it would happen. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for me, the, the tour is the most exciting thing. You know, the, it, it's actually happening. It's here. <laughs> and it's, it's a way people can kind of connect sure. with me. So yeah. But you'll have to, you'll be on tour just having had a baby. Yes. With a toddler. <laughs> I, I know. know you've got an amazing husband yeah. and a great support system you need it <laughs> well it's funny because I started planning and writing for this back in January and obviously yeah. I wasn't pregnant then sure. and then when I found out I was pregnant I thought no this is you know women um, not necessarily can have it all but women can work and be sure. a mother as well so I think new baby is going to come on tour with me yes um, and big girl is going to stay at home <laughs> with dad right. so we'll see how that goes I'm sure she might get a little bit jealous but she's she's nearly four so yeah. she really understands what's happening good you're looking forward to yeah her? Big Christmas present. Well, it's quite funny. She goes between the being really excited about being a big sister, yeah. and then she says, I "I'm really excited about the baby, but I don't want the baby to live with us." Right. <laughs> But the baby might have to for the next 18 years. So. I love yes, kids. I love kids. Katie, I delight to see you. And again, we'll put all the information on our website as we always do. Oh, thank and you. Good luck. Good luck with the baby. Yes. Obviously, and also with the tour. Great to see you. Good. And thank you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too.